Hey guys, thank you for joining me here today on another beautiful day in the forest. It is 70 degrees and it is an absolutely comfortable day to be out in the woods. I thought we'd have some fun here today and the knife that we brought along is the Cold Steel Pendleton Light Hunter. And I'm not a hunter myself, but for those of you who are, you know that the shape and the design of this blade make this a tremendous hunting knife. I have friends that are hunters that swear by this knife, and it also has a reputation through uh, hunting circles, Field and Stream magazine as being a tremendous knife for that purpose. The reason I brought it out today is because it's a very budget-friendly knife, and I figured we'd test out and see how it does with uh, bushcrafting or woods tasks. And I'm starting now by just whittling down this piece of wood because we're going to start with some tent stakes. One of the first things I like to do with a knife is to test its ability on making tent stakes. I don't always bring tent stakes into the woods, so it's good to know that a knife is going to carve well enough to provide those for you. And as we talked about before, you don't need a razor sharp edge on this end. You don't want that end coming off on you when you're trying to pound them in. Now this knife is not a Scandinavian grind, it's a flat grind. And to me, flat grinds aren't bad woods knives at all. They do the trick quite nicely. Let's put our stop notch there. And get our seven notch all set. Let's get this end rounded off here. When I'm out here, the two things that I'm going to be using are tent stakes and pot hooks. And those are the two main tasks that I like a knife to do. Or do easily. You know, a lot of knives will do them. It's just how easily do they do them. And once you get this deep with your pot hook, you don't need to force it. Just let the knife do all the work for you. And then simply clean it up. And there we go, not too bad at all. Here's our little cook pot with a wire bale. I'm just gonna grab our pot hook we made In my opinion, guys, the carving ability of a knife is what really sets it apart from other knives. Because carving is one of the absolute pleasures of using a knife in the woods. I did have to work the spine of this knife. It came kind of rounded off and it didn't strike a ferro rod.
And there goes our feathers. So we're gonna set that right on our fire lay. Throw some smaller stuff on that. Just some quick specs on the Cold Steel Pendleton Light Hunter. The blade is about three and a half inches long. The total overall length is about eight and a half inches. It weighs about two and a half ounces. The handle is a high impact polypropylene handle. The blade is 2.5 millimeters thick and it's made of 4116 German stainless steel. And the knife also comes with this core X sheath, which holds the blade nicely. And we discussed it earlier, guys, but the knife does have a full flat grind. The price on this knife, guys, is outstanding. It is under $15. So if you're interested in this type of blade, but you can't afford one of the Cold Steel Pendleton Hunter knives, go ahead and take a look at this Pendleton Light Hunter. I think you're gonna like it. It has a great reputation. I've only heard good things about it as a hunting knife. And I hope that I was able to show that it is also an outstanding woods blade as well. So I thank you for joining me. Nice to see everybody. And we will talk to you again down the road, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.